Can we skip to the good part? Can we skip to the good part? Hey y'all, my name is Elizabeth and I'm creating a video to talk to you about how I lost 70 pounds in about seven months. And one of the main components of my weight loss is this right here. This is my Peloton bike. I love, love, love this bike. One of the greatest investments in my entire life. Before we get into Peloton, I need to preface this video by saying I am not a nutritionist, okay? This is just what worked for me. If you have any kind of nutrition questions, please seek a professional because I'm just, I'm literally just sharing my story to tell you what has worked for me. I cannot really give you any advice other than that. So before we get into Peloton, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. My name's Elizabeth. I am a makeup artist located here in North Carolina. I specialize mostly in weddings and boudoir. I love, love, love weddings. I have four children. They are six, seven, 11, and 14. And I'm a busy sports mom. I'm also a very busy full-time student at Liberty University. I am taking their uh, program for aviation. I'm getting my bachelor's in aviation because guess what? I wanna be a pilot. I wanna fly. So I'm making my dreams come true and I'm so freaking excited. So um, I used to work for corporate America for about 15 years and that ended and so then I decided to, I was gonna start my own business and now my husband and I are going through a divorce which is okay because it's not God's plan and God does have a plan and I'm okay I'm in a better place now so my dog I am currently at 70 pounds gone in my weight loss journey and I am so freaking excited about that I started my journey on March 9th of 2021 and today is December 11th and I have maintained at 70. I am um, currently dropping just a few more pounds. I am at my goal weight but I really want to tone this up so that's what I'm working on right now. So my story about how I found Peloton and why I decided to go with Peloton. So I listened to this podcast, it's called Breaking Beauty Podcast. It's these two girls that are um, in Canada and they review beauty products. With me being a makeup artist, I love to learn about these new products. So they, they talk about makeup, they talk about skincare, they talk about hair care, perfumes, all the kind of like health and beauty wise, right? So I believe it was back in January of 2020, I was listening to their podcast and they, um, I thought they had interviewed a Peloton instructor, but when I reached out to them about that podcast because I couldn't find it, they said that they've never interviewed a Peloton instructor before. But I know that I've heard about Peloton from their podcast. So then I started thinking about it. Well, they interviewed somebody else and then that person was asked a question somewhere and then they got on the Peloton subject. So Peloton was, um, I found Peloton through this podcast and then I started I went to their Instagram and I was stalking Peloton I ended up following on them too but then I would also go to their website and just read and read and read and I was so hooked on it like I wanted it I was 225 pounds like I wanted to lose weight I wanted to work out I had this ambition to change myself right and so months and months passed by and my husband he didn't want to make the purchase because he said that, you know, he knows what's going to happen. The bike's just going to sit there and I'm not going to use it. And that's thousands of dollars plus a monthly membership, which the membership is $40 a month, 39 and some change. But with tax, it's like 41 and something. So anyway, um, the bike's just going to sit there and you're not going to use it and blah, blah, blah. And so I was like, no, I'm going to use it. Like, I promise, I promise. Right. So we ended up. Um, he, he's a, he's a good researcher. He, he, he really does good research. But anyway, he was researching all these other bikes, Nordic track, um, the Bowflex something and, and showing me these things. 
And so I would read the reviews on all these different bikes and I would always still come back to Peloton. Like it was Peloton was what I wanted. Um, and so I ended up convincing him that it's going to be a good purchase and I'm going to use it and, and whatnot. So we made the purchase September of 2020 and the bike got delivered four weeks later in October. Well, during the end of September, I ended up cutting my pinky finger. And so if you look real close, you'll see my pinky is curved, right? I ended up slicing my tendon. So I had to have flexor tendon repair surgery done on my right hand. So, and I am right-handed and I couldn't use this hand for six to eight weeks. And so um, that was very hard in my makeup artistry business because I had to give the bridal parties over to another makeup artist, but I would still do my brides, but I was doing them left-handed. So makeup would always take double the time left-handed, but this girl got it, I slayed. Anyway, I digress. I had the surgery, the bike was here. I was thinking, let me uh, get on this thing and, and try to ride it one-handed. Not a good idea. Um, I didn't hurt myself or anything like that, but never being on a, a spin bike before, and trying to grasp it left-handed and you have to turn this right here for your uh, resistance and and whatnot and so he was right the bike sat here I because of my hand and because I couldn't use it and with me being a makeup artist I would typically do these really fun Halloween looks and Christmas looks I'm talking about like painting entire things on your face really creative looks right well, I couldn't use my right hand and so I ended up getting in this funk because I wasn't using the bike so he was right it sat for five months um, I was overweight just wasn't happy my hand ended up, had ended up healing but then I still had like I rode the bike a couple times but I was never consistent and so with that you know I would always hear on the the instructor say you know something about this community you guys are amazing and when everybody comes together and i just kept thinking like yeah there's a lot of people on here and you can high five them or whatever but i don't know any of those people and i don't feel this connection that everybody's talking about and i want that and i wanted this motivation because i didn't want my husband to be right i didn't want him to be like i told you so so i had to prove him wrong and I had to do this for me. I was completely miserable and I needed motivation to turn my life around, right? So I came up with this idea to go onto the Peloton um, Facebook page and, and our group and I posted thinking that I would get like four or five girlfriends, right? I just wanted girls because nothing against guys, but when you go onto the, the group page, the Peloton page, there can be some negativity associated with women who post their pictures of them looking fine as heck. And then, you know, there'll be comments of like, oh, is it Thirsty Thursday already? And so that's just a little disheartening just reading those comments. And so I just wanted girls um, so I could create a small little chat with them. So I posted in that group and a few others and it exploded. Um, with the response of people wanting an account with ladies wanting an accountability group and so I was just like oh wow this is this is really cool I'm not gonna have just you know four or five friends like maybe 15 at the most but within two days it was up to 600 members and right now we are at 3.4 thousand members and this group is phenomenal absolutely phenomenal and this group has helped me get to where I am in my weight loss journey with Peloton. I cannot be more grateful or gracious for this. So I created our group on Facebook. It's called Get It Girl Peloton Style. So if you go in your search engine, your search bar at the top of Facebook, you just type that in and you wanna join us and see what we're all about, you are more than welcome. You can also follow our hashtag, it's PS Get It Girl, and our Instagram, which is also PS Get It Girl. I run the Instagram, am I consistent? Not really, um, but feel free to tag them. 
and I can try to repost your pictures and if you tag them in the stories, I will make sure to tag your, retag your, reshare your stories as well. Okay, so let's get into how I lost 70 pounds in seven months. Let me do a little twirl here, okay? Whoop, whoop, mama four, y'all, mama four. And I feel amazing, okay? I am so damn proud of myself. So in my first 61 days, I lost 31 pounds. I was working out consistently every single day. I would ride the bike anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes, sometimes even more. Um, and then I would also go outside and do the same thing, just walk. I'm not a runner. I wanna be a runner, I will be a runner. Just give me some time. But I would walk just as much. And then, you know, I would just, I would eat a lot better. But for the first 30 days, I started off in nothing but beginner rides. And I did those to get acquainted with the, um, the instructors a little bit, to kind of figure out which ones that I really like and I'd like to ride more with. And um, I did it because I did one ride that wasn't a beginner ride and I felt like death, like I could not keep up and they were screaming out all these numbers and I'm just like, I don't know how to do that. Like I can't, do, like who does that? Okay, well, it takes some practice and forget about coming up out of the saddle. This is called a saddle, right? You raise up, your booty's not on that saddle, and you're pedaling, like on a regular bike, clearly. You would think that it's not difficult, but getting up out of the saddle the first couple times, it takes a lot of practice, and now I'm a professional. You know, I've been doing this for seven months. I freaking love it. So, um... So anyway, I did that for the first 30 days. And then um, I started working out, doing the more intermediate rides and advanced rides, and it all just came very, very quick. So not only was I working out, but diet had a huge part to play in this, okay? I started, um, well, I used to eat a lot. I overate so much, and that's part of why I was 225 pounds. So I changed up my diet. I cut out all sodas. I did not drink any alcohol. I, un in I upped my intake of water, and I drank coffee and with no creamer. So I was doing intermittent fasting, and I still am doing intermittent fasting. I do not eat before 2 p.m. or after 9 p.m. I was very strict on that the first three months of this weight loss journey. Um, I still do it, but I break it every now and again. I'm gonna be honest, the other day, cause I'm at my goal weight and you know what, treat yourself. But the other day I literally sat down and ate six ice cream sandwiches. Not within my time limit for intermittent fasting. But look at this, I'm still good. When it comes to food, I ate a lot of chicken. I ate a lot of steak, still eat these, and salads. And that was pretty much it. Steak, chicken, salads. I've had some vegetables to go along with my steak or chicken. Um, I would still eat carbs, but just not a whole lot of them cut back on my carbs. I don't deprive myself of anything. Like I said, I just sat down and ate six ice cream sandwiches the other day. If I see something and I want it, like I will make that conscious decision and eat it. I do not deprive myself. When it comes to drinking coffee, I used to drink coffee with half coffee and then half a lot of International Delight coffee creamer. And I would get the, like the Reese cup coffee creamer or the ice cream coffee creamer and it would just taste so good but again part of why I was 225 pounds so when I cut the creamer out of my um, my diet I was introduced into this stuff right here this is called liquid stevia and it's from pure and it's organic bum, bum. It has zero calories, so you are still fasting whenever you put this into your black coffee. And so when I drink coffee, I'm drinking 32 ounces almost every single day. Sometimes I will make this and I'll take a few sips and then I set it down and I don't even drink it. 
Um, but this helps with my fasting. So it helps curb your appetite. So if you think about it, especially like if you just drink water, if you feel hungry and you're having a difficult time with intermittent fasting, you can just drink water and that will prolong your, your hunger for just a little bit. And then you start to feel hungry again, just drink some more water or you can go like me and I continually sip on my coffee until two, three in the afternoon, sometimes four. When it comes to having energy to do this and maintain working out every day, you don't have to work out every day. That's just what I did. Um, and sometimes it's not great to work out every day, but if you can handle it, then go ahead. But it's okay to take rest days. I've taken plenty of rest days. Um, not in the beginning and for 61 days, actually for more than 61 days, it was 70, I went 70, almost 80 some days consistently working out every single day. Um, and then I started taking some rest days because I started seeing some progress and then I'd get a little tired here and there. Uh, but I found these right here. So these are little energy drink mixes that I picked up at Walmart but it's called Vitamin Hydrate, it's an electrolyte drink mix. So this helped because I was drinking a whole lot of water, but I felt like I wasn't really retaining anything to keep me from feeling like I wasn't drinking any water. So I found these electrolyte drink mixes and they're energy ones. They're pretty awesome. Um, the first one I've had is this uh, blue raspberry and the taste of it at first caught me a little off guard. And I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like this, but after you drink it, you just become accustomed to it. And then they were out of stock on this. And so I found their watermelon flavor and it's pretty good. So it's a 10 pack for like six bucks and they just come with these little packets and you just dump them into your water bottle, fill it up for 16 ounces, I believe it is. That's what I do anyway and then one stick, shake it up. And I drink this while I'm on the bike. It has super B12, adaptogens, taurine, and green tea extract, but it's good for cellular energy, endurance, fights fatigue, and boosts stamina. Zero sugar, amazing drink mix that I found that's relatively cheap and um, just great all around. Losing 70 pounds is such an incredible accomplishment. And if you've ever done it before, you know exactly how I feel. But it takes a lot of consistency. It takes a lot of um, maintaining that consistency, maintaining your diet, maintaining your willpower to actually get on the bike. It's all in your mindset. You need to change your mindset to say that you can do this and you will do this. Find you some friends. Peloton has grown so much during the pandemic, and I guess I can officially say that I am a pandemic Peloton baby. Um, but this is, has literally been the best investment in my health. If you've been thinking about getting a Peloton, you've been doing your research on it, um, I have a code that you can use. It's a referral code. If you don't want to use mine, it's fine. Peloton gives you six codes that you can use a year. It's a Peloton referral code. And what it does is it saves you $100 off of your purchase of your accessories when you purchase your bike from the company. It has to be purchased at the same time. In return, it saves you $100, but it also gives me $100 towards their apparel store, which is where I got my Peloton gear here. So I got this little sports bra, which I freaking love. And then I have these uh, leggings here, which also has the Peloton name on the legging pants. And they're so freaking comfortable. If you would like the code to save you $100 off of your accessories, when you purchase the bike, you can use mine. It's J2EXX3. I will try to link that down below or at least mention it down below. Uh, if you would like to follow me on Peloton, I am the Get It Girl, but it's the underscore get underscore it underscore girl. Most importantly though, if you do invest in something like this, make sure to use it. Do not give up on yourself because I'm telling you, if I of all people can lose 70 pounds, I know that you can too because I know me, I've never been one to work out. I've never been one to actually like to work out. And now I love it. I love to work out. And 
the reward that you feel afterwards is so worth it. Don't give up on yourself. Y'all can find me on Instagram at Elizabeth Anderson Gant. I don't plan on changing my Instagram name as of right now, but eventually it will change. And when that does, I will make sure to come back down in the description and relink that to the correct name. And before I pop off here, I just want to leave you with a quote from Miss Allie Love, who is one of the greatest Peloton instructors out there. She's so sweet. But her quote is, don't compare your chapter one with someone else's chapter six. Just because it took me seven months to lose 70 pounds doesn't mean that everybody can do that. And it's okay. It's your story. This is mine. I'm just sharing mine with you. And I hope to encourage you and motivate you to want to get to where you would like to be. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give that thumbs up. Subscribe, all that pizzazz. And don't forget to get it, girl.